I'm joined by Alex Penn Halligan from Brisbane, Australia. And you're on the search for your third great grandfather. Yes. Would you like to tell us who he is? Yes, he was the Reverend Alexander Caldwell. Uh, he grew up in Manor Cunningham and he was the minister at the Donegmore Presbyterian Church from uh, 44 to 64, 1844 to 1864. Uh, in that time he lived in Minahoney up in the hills behind the church. He also had a farm. Uh, he was a very academic man. He'd been to university in Belfast, Queen's University, where he took out medals for mathematics. Uh, while he was at university, he was teaching at the St. Field Academy and uh, he was also wanting to study for the ministry. So he studied for the ministry and then he was appointed by the Presbyterian Church up to Donegmore. While he was living in Donegmore, he had uh, five girls and two boys and all except one of the girls immigrated with him in 1864 to Australia. Uh, his reasons for immigrating were a little unclear. They were probably partly economic because he'd suffered losses on the farm, uh, partly because his wife had passed away suddenly after the birth of their last child, and also because the Presbyterian Church of Ireland at that time were paying the ministers quite well to come to Queensland and uh, set up their um, parishes in, in Brisbane and in Queensland. So he was your third great grandfather, is that correct? Yes. And you you decided you decided to do this research about two years ago. That's correct. And you've yeah. had a few amazing coincidences. And... I've had the most amazing coincidence happen, including finding out um, where his uh, daughter lived and taught in uh, Queensland, where their children were established. I've had help finding the places that my great-grandmother, uh, Caldwell's granddaughter, uh, was married. I've had a lot of help just popping up out of nowhere. That's good. And there's connections all around. When you've arrived, I mean, obviously he was born in Manor, but you mm. find connections in Armagh, connections in Letterkenny. Yes. Um, I think you mentioned one of his daughters was employee at Austin's of the Diamond, or whatever was known yes. as previous to that? One, one of Caldwell's daughter, or two of Caldwell's daughters, Martha and Margaret, were trained under Mrs Mary Rankin in the Diamond in Letterkenny. They trained in millinery and dressmaking, and then they set up their own business in Stravan. Margaret became very ill. I'm not sure what happened. She did recover, um, but what happened, but I do know Martha went on to established a business in Letterkenny uh, and just shortly after that they um, immigrated to Australia. Reverend Colwell worked in Brisbane, had three parishes. He used to cover on horseback in, on one Sunday, which was quite a feat. Uh, after he was in Brisbane, he was sent to Gympie during the Gold Rush uh, era, uh, to, uh, preaching to a lot of people basically who lived in humpies and tents. Uh, around Gympie, um, apart from the big beautiful sandstone buildings that were being built with all the money, the church was very modest. Unfortunately, one night coming home in the rain, he caught a chill and then he died of pneumonia. But he was so loved and so <clears throat> respected by the people in Gympie that the town closed for the day for his funeral procession, all the businesses closed down and the local Catholic priest donated the money for his headstone for his grave. Okay, so Reverend Cromwell's story is that he was born in 1810 uh, in Ireland and in 1871 he died in Australia. Uh, he had five daughters and two sons. One of his daughters was Sarah Jane Caldwell and she's my great, great grandmother. Sarah Jane immigrated after the Caldwell family with her husband Samuel Ewing, who was a teacher at the National School in Amar next door to the Second Presbyterian Church on the Mall. Uh, Sarah Jane and Samuel um, migrated to Brisbane and they got jobs as head teachers of the North Ipswich uh, Primary School in Ipswich. Unfortunately, they didn't last very long there and they both died at the age of 31. Their daughter, Mary Ann Clark Ewing was my great-grandmother. 
Mary Ann Clark Ewing married Eric Pl um, John uh, Edward Selves Plumridge, and their son was John Eric Plumridge, who was my grandfather. And my grandfather partially raised me. He lived next door. So a very strong connection to the family and to the Presbyterian Church. So I've discovered a lot of information about the Reverend Caldwell. Uh, now I'm looking for information about his grandfather, who was the Reverend Robert Reed. Robert Reed was the first minister in the Second Rye Presbyterian Church in Manor Cunningham. So if anybody has any information uh, back as far as that, around the 1760s, I'd be uh, very happy to, to be contacted about it. <laughs>